Okay, today I want to show you how to make a tapering jig with stop blocks with nothing more than scrap wood. Okay, so I'm in the middle of a project and I need to taper down some pieces of plywood. And I don't have a tapering jig. So I made this just on the fly. Uh, this is a piece of three quarter inch plywood that I found in my scrap bin. Uh, these pieces here, uh, what I call springboards, they are just a piece of two by four that I ripped off about a half inch thick uh, and they're about five or six inches long. Now these pieces, believe it or not, I already had and they were already cut out. I saw them and I thought that would be handy in this jig, but really all it is is a piece of uh, one inch thick piece of stock uh, with a, a section cut out that looks like an L and like an L bracket. Um, and the, the beauty of this jig is, this being a piece of scrap wood, um, you can move these things around. All this stuff's held down by screws. You can move them around depending on the size of your piece that needs to be tapered. Uh, you can move them closer to the edge. Of course, you don't want anything hanging off the pat, uh, past the edge of this because this is what rides on the blade. This will ride on the fence. And so you don't need any runners uh, for your table saw. It just rides right up against the fence and whatever's hanging off here gets cut off. So keep these pieces uh, just to the inside of that edge. Uh, let me make a couple of test cuts and show you how this thing works. Uh, it worked really, really well for me. Hopefully you can make one and it'll be useful for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna be tapering this piece of plywood. Um, this one's probably about the same size. It's eight inches wide, but I want to taper, let me push this out of the way just a minute. I want to taper, let's just say we want a, a four inch on one end and we're going to keep the other end at, or let's say uh, six inches. So six inches on that side. Now I'm going to mark the end grain as well so I can line these up. Okay, so we've got that in place. And as you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but our line on this end is against that edge. There's our line here along that edge. Okay. So, we just need to tighten all this down. Now, without even tightening these up, that's not going anywhere. It's pretty much, uh, it's pretty sturdy. So all this is doing, and they're not real sturdy, but these are acting like stop blocks. And so each piece that I put in there, I just need to loosen up these, slide my next piece in there, and cut away. I don't even have to measure the next time. So as long as I am the same length. Um, so all that's secure and that is pretty, pretty sturdy. So let's take a, let's make a test cut, see how it works. Okay, so I've got my fence at eight inches because that's the width of our jig. And I just want to make sure that I've got enough room under my safety on my table saw. For this jig and the other piece to slide under. So that's another good thing about this jig. do is loosen up these three screws and that should all it should
should take to get that piece out. And there you go. The reason I really like this is the repeatability. Uh, you can use these stop blocks to now slide this piece tighten it down and basically get the same exact size that you just created and all this was in my scrap bin I didn't buy anything uh, for this specific jig I already had all this stuff in the shop and it works great now I may uh, expand on this I may incorporate some t-track and some star knobs for um, you know instead of using a drill I could just use star knobs to tighten and loosen and that sort of thing but for the most part uh, in a pinch in the middle of a project when I needed a tapering jig I got it done with shop materials that I already had so thank you guys for uh, watching this video if you would please uh, comment what you like what you don't like about it maybe what I could do to improve it um, and we'll see you next time so thanks <laughs>